Hello, welcome to another microbite. My name's Andrew. My name's Dan. And uh, in this microbite, we're going to look at the accelerometer that's on the microbit and how we can use it to sense a shake and do something on the screen. And we're also going to look at some of the maths functions built into some of the programming. Great, so let's get coding. We're on the microbit website here, microbit.co.uk, and we're just going to hit create code. And again, we're going to stick with the block editor. Stick with the block editor. It's a nice, easy way to get into Microbit. Here we go. Great. And so the accelerometer is an input, isn't it? Yeah, it's an input. And it actually measures in like milligravities how much the thing has been uh, yeah. shaken around and tilted and stuff. When, uh, you, when you get deeper into it, you can actually set how many milli Gs you want to create before it triggers. But we're not going to do that today. No, it's got a built-in function under input called on shake do. Yeah, so I've just gone to input here, just drag out on shake do. Yeah, what I mean, uh, this uh, accelerometer is the same thing on your mobile phone that tips the screen around. You know, that's, oh, that's right. the technology that's involved here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it'll measure a shake, a certain amount of movement. So I'm going to display something basic. Yeah, well, what I thought would be fun is we'll make a sort of uh, dice. What we'll do if we flip this over. Uh, we use the LED display on the back to display a number uh, at random. So, yeah, if you go to basic and choose show number, now that's actually going to show the number two. Right. And that interval is just how long it's on the screen for. That's right. fine. You can leave that. But we'll replace the block that has the number two in Whoosh, with one away. from the maths category. Um, now, the lowest one there is random number up to four. Drop that in. And I think we might as well go all the way up to nine. All right. So a nine cider. Well, or should we go six for the purists? <laughs> okay, we'll go six. So we're not we're not catering for the Dungeons and Dragons crowd. No, not really. We're just okay. going to go. You know, you straight up uh, regular dice or we'll die. Uh, so we can test that. The, the emulator will let you test that if you don't okay. have a microbit yet. Yeah. So the, a great thing is, as I've been saying in the other videos, which you should watch. Um, if you don't yet have a microbit, you can still get ready for when they arrive by using. And pressing run and yeah. using our emulator, our fake one. And microbit. there it is. Now, you can actually wiggle the screen, um, but it's probably not violent enough for a shake. So they've put a shake button at the bottom. You click it, and that simulates giving it a good old wiggle. So we've got a four. Yeah, and if you press shake again, you get a different number. And sometimes you'll get the same number twice because it is random. But there you go, you've got random dice numbers between one and six. Well, yeah, you can play that. a game with that. Uh, so let's test it. You know, the fun really is when you actually see it physically work on a microphone. Okay. So I'm going to plug this in with USB, as we always do. Get an orange light to say it's connected. All right. And I, oh, there it is on my computer there. It's popped up. I'll just get rid of that. And I'm going to hit compile, because that's how you turn your block editor stuff into an actual program, which is a .hex file. And I'm just going to save over the one I made earlier. And... Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. You could be keeping all of these hex files yeah, neatly exactly. organized if you want to keep track of your projects, but you could also just do it like this, where you just yeah. throw them on, give it a go. So, super easy to get it onto the micro bit. It just shows up as uh, another disk in my, my computer. Drag it, drop it. And flashing light. Watch the orange flashing light as I got the a progress data bar. transfers. And then we won't see anything on the screen immediately, even though it started running. But if I give it a shake, Hey, the one. Give it another shake. And a zero. Okay, that's an interesting dice number. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can work out how to fix that in your code. Um, now, what we can also do here, if I unplug, I haven't lost the data. I haven't lost that program, all that hard work. If I plug this back in to the battery power and press the reset button that's next to the battery connector, then it should be running from batteries, and if I shake it, there you go, you've got the number four. Amazing. Got the number zero again, number three. So that's where this battery pack comes into its own. If you make something that's kind of portable, you can just uh, like take that on the back and you've got you a little could, dice. You could do something like that to make one of those like decision maker things. Yeah, we talked about this, a sort of uh, fortune cookie, eight ball thing that yeah, displays so you say, a message. What we're gonna do tonight, cinema or whatever. Yeah, brilliant, mm. great fun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that micro bit. Okay, that's the end. Oh. There'll be more to follow. That micro bite. Oh, yes. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe. <laughs>